Okay, recording this video after closed trade Monday, 24th of June, 2013. Well, there we go. Another big day, kind of fast and smooth. Uh, we got down into 50s. I think 53 was the low today. 2.4 million contracts traded. It was nice. I like trading today. Uh, in terms of where we're at, um, we're trying to find this bottom, and we've got the amount of selling that we've seen is going to signal a an exhaustion selling signal. Uh, soon, probably tomorrow. So on the way up, we had this exhaustion pattern where we kind of topped out with a blow-off move and then uh, reversed after first bearish divergence. So on the way down now, on this uh, continuous chart, day and night, we got about negative 4.2 million uh, on better momentum here, and this reading was just over 4 million. So that'll give us an exhaustion pattern that kind of mirrors the amount of buying that went into that. Uh, blow-off move is similar to the amount of selling that's coming into this sell-off move. So we're trying to find that kind of left shoulder. Whether we're there or not, I'm not convinced yet. On the 40,500 tip bar chart, we did put in pullback to end of trend today. Uh, and here's the move down at the bottom. So this is the exhaustion selling that kind of got the move going through support here, so into our downtrend. So in terms of the trending move, uh, this leg is kind of done. We didn't see a whole bunch of blue professional bars kind of come in. For me, what's important is we didn't see, you know, it was a big reading on this kind of left shoulder kind of pattern here. It was fairly big, but it wasn't big enough uh, to end this thing, I don't think. So I think we might play around the lows, but I could see us easily kind of breaking to new lows and then seeing more blue professional bars and another exhaustion pattern similar to this. When you see these line up, when the bullish divergence signals like this kind of line up, I'm always looking for a final kind of breakdown as a, a real kind of flushing out pattern, kind of um, uh, exhausting people, kind of scaring them uh, in order to find that bottom and reverse it. So we'll see, kind of look at that over the next couple of days. But, you know, it's good ranges, good kind of fast activity, so uh, I rather like it. Uh, the I'm going to tag on a day trade. I had two, it was a good day's trading, two nice trades, kind of short, 67 and a half here, picking off four points. And I made a mistake, and I just want to kind of uh, go through this in a little bit of uh, detail here in this video. So I'm short into this move with all these blue professional bars kind of following this down, take profits. And I'm thinking, well, this thing's moving so fast, I don't think it's done on the downside. I want to get in uh, on a retrace for another kind of short trade. And I'm always kind of a little bit emotional, kind of just jumping in a little bit too soon. And so I jump in at this pullback level here. The blue professional bar kind of comes in. But you can see we go nowhere here, and we kind of race all the way up. And this is almost like a short covering rally on the way here. So by the time I'm getting out of here, I'm losing a point and three quarters um, because you know the market's fast, and I can't decide whether I'm you know going to keep the trade or not. So I ditch it. And what I should be waiting for on this retrace is blue professional bars on the 1500 tip bar chart. They're kind of more significant. You know, sometimes you do get lucky. These pullback to end of trend signals, you know, kind of a stronger and it kind of travels further. Uh, but really, when you've got um, more blue professional bars showing you where they're going getting re-entering short, um, that's kind of a better opportunity. So I'm just going to show you where that appeared on the uh, the three different time frames. So on the 500 tip bar chart, this one didn't work out. We kind of break on the way back. You can see we've got Rambo patterns kind of leading the way. This is when we see the next cluster of blue professional bars kind of come in. And they're at the breakdown level where we kind of uh, broke down into a downtrend here. We get a little bit of testing back up into 67s with Rambo patterns. Rambo patterns up, amateurs, you know, uh, kind of getting wrong footed here. And then we go the other way. We've got blue professional bars coming in on the way down and we're breaking the lows of those blue professional bars. So we've got professional uh, kind of activity on this time frame. So that was too early. Even waiting for this uh, res resistance level to come in on better sine waves, too early because we've not seen the blue professional bars. So we've overshot this resistance level, the blue professional bars come in, and then we turn over. If you look at this on the 1500 tip bar chart, that overshoot on the 500 ends up being caught by resistance here in the 1500 tip bar chart. So we bounced off this Rambo pattern here. For me, the bottom's not in because we've not seen exhaustion selling on the left shoulder and blue professional bars kind of come in. So I'm pretty sure that's not the low for the day. That's not a good point where the market's going to reverse. We had this pre-open uh, short covering rally after, you know, kind of midway through the European session. We sold off in the European session. We kind of 
short covering rally, um, exhausted ourselves and then sold off. So what I'm looking for is a mirroring pattern for this exhaustion selling and we get that later on and that's where we try and find our bottom and try to rally from there. So the bottom's not in, we've just bounced off a Rambo pattern, the amateurs have got too excited here. We kind of retrace on the way back here, we get caught by resistance at this point. There's no blue professional up bars at this point but there's two blue professional down bars. So we come into here and then the professionals on this time frame are so anxious to kind of sell it down, they quickly grab whatever's there. Uh, blue bars are going down, we break the lows of that, we get a second one kind of going in and that's my signal, that's a better signal. So I short 65 and a quarter at this point here and then this was a fast move after being kind of jumpy through that retrace. So fast move there and that's when the professionals pick it up again. You can see them coming in at the lows in the uh, 58s and 60s down here. We get our exhaustion selling pattern and that's uh, the left shoulder that I'm trying to you know capture here. I didn't hold it all the way down. <clears throat> I was out after full points at 61 a quarter. So I was happy with that though because it was my uh, fifth trade uh, of the day. But that one was uh, the sweetest because I did the right thing at that point there. On the highest time frame, the 4,000 on this day, tr day trading time frame, 4,500, that whole move was all amateur up bars uh, kind of here into that point there. And then where we found that support, it was a pullback to end of trend here. On this time frame, we're not over because we've not seen exhaustion selling uh, till we find a left shoulder. So although the 1500 zip bar chart was showing us that was a critical kind of point in terms of exhaustion, we needed to lurch down, go through the ledge kind of a second time to get it really exhausted out of sellers. Bullish divergence kind of comes in and then that rally kind of um, gets generated from those lows been there. Nice little Rambo kind of test pattern down here at, at bullish divergence and we rock it away from there. So, um, you know, I'm kind of learning all the time and I'm too emotional as a trader. I'm too kind of anxious to jump in, jump out. I'm getting better at holding for my targets, which is good, but I'm still on these kind of jumpy days. I jumped in way too early there, made a couple of mistakes, and I should be waiting for those blue professional bars on the 1500 tip bar chart. They're, they're important. They, they show you what the uh, professionals uh, are doing, particularly on that time frame. Anyway, I uh, hope you traded well today. Might tag on this one, uh, and uh, looking forward to the next couple of days. Short 65 and a quarter. Short 65 and a quarter, checking the stops and targets, and trying this again. We've uh, come back up uh, to resistance on 1500 tip bar chart. I was waiting for a blue professional up bar. We got a blue professional down bar, kind of getting this move going. So we'd had blue professional bars coming into this with a Rambo pattern, blue professional bars kind of down here. Here we go, breaking back down. We might sync up with the cyclical resistance here on 4500s, kind of amateur bars into this on this chart down. Second blue professional bar on the way down here. And targets at uh, 125. So let's see, that could be kind of testing the lows, breaking the new lows down here. All right, we've not seen uh, exhaustion selling yet on 1500 uh, during the day. We've had this one pre open and we've kind of sold off as a result of that. So we're coming down. If we get trapped around here with blue professional bars at the lows and kind of head back up, it, it'll it won't work out. But at the moment, come on, we've got to break this. We've got no blue professional bars coming at the lows here, so we've got to break back down through support. So short five and a quarter. We just broke back down through support on the 500 tip bar chart here. So hopefully into another kind of trend move on the way down. Is that one a down bar here? Still got to run to the support down here. I thought I'm at an up bar there, so it's kind of weak retrace. Come on, let's break back down. Not seen blue professional bars at the lows necessarily on the 1500 and 4500. So, see, it's moving nice and fast, which is good. Here we go, we're in the ones, just looking for one and a quarter. Still got a little bit of time to run. Come on, come on. Taken out. One and a quarter. It's just gone through it. Excellent. As the blue professional bars kind of come in, uh, we bounced off uh, one and a half, which is the previous low, into this a little retrace, and then bang, we hit it again. So we've got Rambo patterns here. Pullback going off, and a bounce, big bounce up. 